Hello, welcome to Nature Source Care. This is Dr. Funda Bowman. I'm a naturopathic physician. And today I was going to talk about marmotherapy, specifically the Ayurvedic energy points on the upper abdomen, so the top part of the abdomen today. Let's get started. A uh, note of caution first, the information presented here is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. For any symptoms that are severe or worsening, please contact a qualified healthcare professional. It is always important to determine the root cause of any disease and to develop a comprehensive treatment plan, of which marma therapy can be a part. Individual cases can vary in terms of treatments that are most effective. And solo therapy, so doing marma therapy alone may not be appropriate or effective in all cases. Okay, so a few words about marma therapy generally. Um, if you're not familiar, it comes from Ayurveda, which is traditional Indian medicine. It's more than 5,000 years old and it's non-invasive, so it doesn't use needles, it just uses touch. It's considered, it's considered an energy therapy. Um, and there are 107 marma points on the body. So when we talk about energy therapy or energy paradigms, you want to start wrapping your mind around the idea that people, diseases, states of health are all energies or waves um, more than, let's say, the conventional sort of biochemical or biomechanical uh, paradigm. Yeah, so it's a bit different. You need to kind of shift your uh, mindset a little bit. Um, and um, touch is used to allow energies to balance at these different points. Um, so, um, also when you think about touch, it doesn't necessarily correspond that like the more you press or the harder you press, the better result you get. That's more of uh, the kind of biomechanical or biochemical um, kind of thought process. So again, you need to adjust your uh, thoughts a bit here. Um, if you want more history on uh, mama therapy, I would check out my mama points on the hand. That's my first mama um, therapy video. Um, if you want to experience uh, marma therapy or if you want an example of how to work with these points, I would check out my mama points on the hand follow along video. There's two hand videos. One I discuss the points and one is a follow along video, so you can check that out. Also, since we're talking about the upper abdomen today, obviously we're going to be talking about nutrition. Um, and actually, if there's any sort of nutritional digestive issues, I would work on nutrition first and add mama therapy in as an adjunct to that. So I have videos on nutrition and the ones that probably are most important, especially coming from an Ayurvedic point of view, are the Vata Wind Diet, the Pitta Fire Diet, the Kapha Earth Diet. Yeah, those are different diets that you can follow depending on your current state of health and or constitution type. And then also very important and helpful is the Ayurvedic food combining. So I have videos on all of these, so I would check those out probably first before you start learning mama therapy. Nutrition, you know, what you eat is going to be very important for any sort of digestive complaints. If you're interested in this sort of content generally, I would check out my other playlist. I always organize my videos in the playlist. So I would check out uh, mama therapy, Ayurveda, body care, and nutrition. So let's get started on the points. The first point is actually a review from my Mama Points on the Chest video. It's called Agrapatra, which means end of the leaf in Sanskrit. It's located at the center of the xiphoid process. So if you go down straight down the middle of the chest, the sternum, and you get to the point where the sort of ribs start to um, follow into the soft tissue of the abdomen, right at the tip there, there's what's called the xiphoid process. So if you put your finger in the middle of this process, um, that's your point. The thing is you don't want to press too hard at this point. Um, you know, again, it's just sort of hanging off the rib cage. So if you press too hard, it can break off, possibly even lacerate organs. And you also don't want to do CPR this low on the body for that reason. <laughs> All right, so energies associated with this point are the prana vayu, udana vayu, the vyana vayu, the sadaka pitta, and the pachaka pitta. These terms may mean um, not much to you, um, but if you're a deeper student of Ayurveda, they will help you organize the points into the, the Ayurvedic system. So just to give you one example, since we're talking about um, digestion mostly today, the Pachaka Pitta, Pitta is a fiery type of energy. 
and Pachaka is the fire, um, fiery energy in your stomach. So that's the fiery energy that helps you break down proteins. Okay, so anytime you see Pachaka Pitta, you want to think stomach fire, essentially in a very general sense. Okay, so this point um, has various indications though, not just digestion. So it helps with lung function, pleuritic pain, asthma, hiccups, diaphragm in general. So things associated with the lungs. It helps with heart function heart rate, palpitations, arrhythmias, mitral valve, tricuspid valve, and pericardium, so the sac that contains the heart. The upper GI is helped by this, so nausea, vomiting, uh, esophageal orifice, the stomach fundus, gastritis, reflux, peptic ulcer, duodenal ulcer, and loss of appetite can all be helped at this point. And this is also associated with mind and emotions, so mostly pitta-type emotions. So pitta-type emotions tend to be things that are fiery, like rage, irritation, impatience, rigidity, hyper-organized, uh, that sort of thing, anger, violence even. So if you're interested in Ayurvedic psychology, I have a whole video on that. If you want to get deeper into it, so I would check that out. So the next few points are going to be the new points introduced in this video. The first set of points are called uh, vankri or curved bone, as it's translated in Sanskrit. The location of the Vankri points, they're on the costal margin, so they're on the lower border of the rib cage where it starts to curve. That's why it's, they're called Vankri, the curved bone there. And it's level with the tip of the xiphoid process. So just if you put your finger on Agrapatra, which we just learned, and then you slide down to the side and down the rib cage a little bit, this will be the Vankri point. So you can see in the photograph here. The finger is on Agrapatra, the point we just learned. And then again, if you go out and down a little bit, you'll be on the Vankri points. Okay, so this will be right on the rib cage, the edge of the rib cage, before you go into the soft tissue of the abdomen. So the energies associated with this point are the Udana Vayu, the Vyana Vayu, the Samana Vayu, the Pachaka Pitta, Ranjaka Pitta, and Kledika Kapha. Indications for this point, again, all marma points have local indications, so if you have any abdominal, upper abdominal uh, issues, you want to probably look at these points first. So local pain, and again, it's right at the nexus here of the chest, the diaphragm, and the abdomen, so if there's pain in this general area, this point can be helpful, these points can be helpful. Um, digestion, so on the right side, that point is related to the liver, gallbladder, head of the pancreas, duodenum, and lesser curvature of the stomach. On the left side, that vankri point is related to the spleen, the tail of the pancreas, and the greater curvature of the stomach. So the, again, these points can be helpful with acid secretion, peptic ulcer, reflux, and loss of appetite. Um, these points can also be helpful with um, breast tissue, specifically the function of lactation. If you're interested in more um, marma point therapies um, for breast health, I would check out the video I made for that. So new point number two is called Yakrut, um, which translates to liver. Um, this is the, so what, to find this point, what you do is you draw a vertical line down from the midclavicular point, or you can use the nipple. So straight down from the nipple, and this is where it intersects again with the intercostal margin. So right at the edge of the rib cage there. So straight down the side of the chest through the uh, midclavicular nipple points and right at the edge there. That's your point. And this this point, most marma points have a mirror, so it's right and left, but Yakrut is only on the right side. But we'll see its mirror in the next point. Okay, so the energies associated with this uh, marma point are the Samana Vayu, the Apana Vayu, the Pachaka Pitta, the Ranjaka Pitta, and the Kledaka Kapha. Yeah. And indications for this point. So this point is right above the liver gallbladder, so all kinds of indications re related to those organs. So upper right quadrant pain issues in general, the hepatic flexure, um, nausea, vomiting, due to liver gallbladder issues, not necessarily from the stomach. Bile, it detoxifies because the liver is so important for that. And also cholesterol metabolism because that's where cholesterol is metabolized. And also because cholesterol is metabolized here, hormones are produced here. So all these things are related to the liver. Um, digestion, so appetite, head of the pancreas, small intestine, the ascending colon. Um, it can help with diarrhea and constipation.
presentation I already mentioned, hepatic flexure. It can also be helpful with the right-sided kidneys and adrenals. It's also helpful with the Rakta Baha Shrota, um, which essentially what it means is in Ayurveda, there are different shrotas or sort of tissue levels, or excuse me, not tissue levels, but channels. And the Rakta Baha Shrota is the channel that um, generates and cleans and purifies the blood. So whenever there's a blood disorder, you want to think about balancing the Rakta Baha Shrota. So again, the liver is essential for um, breaking down old red blood cells so that there's space for new red blood cells. So um, on that level, this point is um, really important. Um, also because the liver is sort of the huge, big detoxifying organ of the body, it, needs, it has a lot of fiery energy to break down all the toxins that are taken into the body. So this point can help with metabolism um, of tissues generally, not just the liver. And again, because this is sort of center of fiery energy, it can be helpful with balancing pits or fiery type emotions. As I mentioned, anger, rage, irritability, impatience, frustration, envy. And again, if you're interested in Ayurvedic psychology, you might want to check out my video. Uh, so the mirror point here is pliha, which means filtrate in um, Sanskrit. And the location, so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a vertical line from the midclavicular point, right, the midclavicle. You're going to go straight down, um, or you can use the nipple, go straight down to the edge of the ribs before you dive into the soft tissue of the abdomen, and that's going to be your point. But this is on the left side only, okay? So we have Yakrut and Pliha are basically mirror points of each other. Um, but um, because they're such important organs, the liver and the spleen, that's why they're um, probably named separately, I'm guessing. So the energies involved at this point are the Samana Vayu, the Apana Vayu, the Pachaka Pitta, the Ranjaka Pitta, and the Kledaka Kapha. Excuse me. It's hot today, so I'm trying to drink water. Um, my voice needs it too. Excuse me. So anyway, um, indications for this point, um, local, again, all among the points of local indication, so pain, upper left quadrant, the spleen, this is a major point for spleen, so it regulates and detoxifies blood, red blood cells, white blood cells, anemia, immunity, because again, the white blood cells are, you know, essential for immune function, so things like chronic fatigue and lymphatic circulation, because the blood cells, white blood cells travel through the lymphatic channels, yeah, and again, the Rakta Vahastrota, um, you know, the blood system as per Ayurveda, so blood disorders here. So things like sickle cell, for example, thalassemia can be um, supported here. Again, you can't fix those genetic disorders, but you can potentially help support organs so that they're more highly efficient and effective with clearing the old blood cells that are clogging up the system and, and causing issues with the um, organs. Um, this point is also with digestion, so it relates to the tail, the pancreas, the small intestine, and the colon, the descending channel, um, and so it can be helpful with diarrhea and constipation. And this point's also related to the splenic flexure. This point um, can be helpful with the left-sided kidneys and adrenals. And this point is also good for emotions, but more kapha or earthy type of emotions, such as attachment, greed, possessiveness, possessiveness, and chronic depression. So things that are heavy and sticky, which is sort of a kapha type energy. So that's pliha. The next point is called surya, or another name for it is Amam, amashaya. Um, the, these translate, surya translates to sun, and amashaya translates to stomach. Um, the location, so this is the midline of the abdomen, right between the midpoint between the belly button and the tip of the xiphoid process, so basically Agrapatra, the midpoint between Agrapatra and the belly button, that's your point. The energy supported by this marma point are the Samana Vayu, the Pana Vayu, the Pachika Pitta, the Ranjika Pitta, and the Kledaka Kapha. Indications for this point, again, local pain, stomach issues, hydrochloric acid levels, peptic ulcer, appetite, GERD, reflux, nausea, vomiting, so a lot of stomach stuff. Also the pancreas, um, the colon, so diarrhea, constipation. And again, surya, sun, it's a lot of fiery type 
energy here. So it helps with Agni generally or digestive fire to help you digest and process your food with that fire energy. And again, as you might guess already, Pitta and fiery type emotions are supported by this point. And then the last point here is called Parshva Sandhi, which translates to side joint. And the way you locate this is the tip of the 11th floating rib. So if you go from Yakrut or Plitha and you follow the curve of the ribs down, you'll you'll get you won't be exactly on the side of the of the rib cage. So it's not like a straight line down from the armpit. But if you follow that curve of the rib cage down slowly, you'll get to a point where there's the 11th floating rib. Okay, and this is a pair of points. There's one on the left and there's one on the right. The energy supported by this point are the Pranavayu, the Adanavayu, the Pachakapitta, and the Ranjakapitta, and uh, oh, one more, the Shleshakakapa. Indications of this point, again, local pain, such as intercostal or abdominal pain. This point is also very helpful with lungs and respiratory functions, so things like asthma, chronic cough, hiccups, pleuritic chest pain, and the general flow of prana or breath life force. On the right side it's related to the liver and on the left side it's related to the spleen um, and these points can be helpful with the kidneys and again these points because the liver and the spleen are so crucial for uh, creating healthy blood both red blood cells and white blood cells um, this point these points the set of points is important for the rectum bakashro to the blood tissue so to summarize and bring this all together, integrate um, the upper, upper abdomen points. So again, all marma points have local effects. So points that support lung functions are Agrapatra and point number five, Parshva Sandhi. Heart, so Agrapatra. Breast health, the uh, one, Vankri points. Stomach, so Agrapatra, Vankri, and Surya. Pancreas, one, two, three, and four. So Vankri, Pliha, Yakrut, and Surya. Duodenum points, Agrapatra, one, two, and three. Liver, gallbladder, one, two, and right side five. Spleen, one, three, and left side five. Colon, two, three, and four. Kidneys and adrenals, points two, three, and five. The rocta blood tissue, two, three, and five. Agni, or metabolism, uh, fiery metabolism, points two and four. And emotions, agrapatra, and points two, three, and four. So you can integrate this visually and hopefully um, start to create a little bit of a framework for these points. But again, if you need details, go back to the previous slides and check those out. So there you have it, a few new points on the upper abdomen to add to your marma therapy point repertoire. Um, again, a lot of these points have mostly to do with nutrition and I would look at nutrition first um, if there's any sort of digestive issue or abdominal issue going on potentially, um, and or at least definitely integrate it with the marma therapy um, because it doesn't make much sense to do marma therapy if you're not eating properly for your constitution or your current state of health. All right, so thank you for your time and attention. I hope you found this helpful, and until the next one, take care.